what's going on everybody how y'all doing today we are back and uh i had a comment a couple weeks ago about how does the bike handle on the freeway and how does it handle on distance and i got a cough but uh sorry about that i had a cough horribly bad but i had a question about how does it handle on the freeway and like steady 70s 80 mile an hour rides and uh any issues and we're gonna make a video covering that no so far i have not had any issues um i did reply to the comment and i said you know one i weighed it until i was at like 500 plus miles before i did any crazy like distance high speed continuous runs at 70 plus on it like anything that we're doing now oh my god damn that bump but so then like going 70 80 i've done about the same sprint that we're gonna do today i talked about it uh actually i think the video got corrupted that i tried to make talking about this so maybe i didn't talk about it we're just gonna stay in this lane at this point been a minute since I went fast on corners and windy freeway. I remember how scary this used to be. It's honestly uh, the first freeway ride of the year. It's kind of nerve-wracking. I'm not gonna lie, but we're gonna get over. We're gonna keep up with traffic. We're just gonna balls to the walls. Hope we don't falls. We got our leathers on and uh, just a general windbreaker, a hoodie, and a pullover underneath that layers of normally what I do so I got like the you know a little thin layer the hoodie and then this to keep the wind off which normally does pretty good um, it's like 70 some degrees and within the span of my two hour ride or so it's probably gonna drop down into the 60s like 65 so it'll be a little cold it's pretty windy out here on the freeway right now a little bumpy too but yeah man we're chilling so the questions were how does it handle the freeway and I mean as you can see we're doing all right um, at first I was honestly really scared of it I think it's more so the bare bones uh, and I've talked about this in a couple of my other videos a windscreen would probably greatly increase the rideability on the freeway um, as well as yeah, I really don't know. I think maybe the, the leg braces to have the foot rest so you can just kind of lean back and chill. You don't have to be so hunched up and uncomfortable. But the windscreen and the addition of the feet rack, I think the bike would be a good commuter highway bike for doing, I'd say, about like 10 to 20 mile rides on the freeway. Um, anything more than that, you're probably going to get... I don't know a little bit uncomfortable um, an upgraded seat would be useful for those situations and uh, in terms of the gas mileage great gas mileage on the freeway great gas mileage all around and uh, I mean it's pretty windy we got a little bit of crosswinds and uh, it's kind of annoying but overall it doesn't really suck that bad it doesn't really bother me and i mean it did at first i think it might take some getting used to if you're not used to like the bare bones bike and if you're not used to bikes at all for that matter but give it like two to three hundred miles of freeway riding and you'll get used to the winds um a lot of people think i'm crazy because i just ride at bare bones so that i've talked to in person um, somebody that has a similar bike, they got the 300 and they're like, dude, I can't handle it. And I'm just like, I mean, it doesn't bother me. So, I don't know. I've grown to not have it bother me, I should say. Because it definitely used to scare me and be somewhat bothersome, but not anymore. <clears throat> But I mean, it doesn't feel too hot. I've not had issues with 
the oil or anything like that. I uh, I changed the oil myself. Uh, I did the first service. I did not do an oil change this year, but something that I want to start implementing is a yearly oil change regardless of if I need an oil change or not. I just think it's good practice for bike health overall. Um, I also try not to rev out the gears. I try to keep it pretty reserved in my gear shifting because I don't have a tachometer and my goal is to kind of potentially see if there's a way to wire in the Rebel 1100 tachometer so that well speedometer tachometer whole this whole this whole piece basically right um so we'll probably end up potentially trying to do that it just depends i don't know if i'm gonna keep the bike i don't I, like i'm still at the crossroads of do i oh it looks like it rained here that's so unfortunate i hope it's not raining where i'm going it said it wasn't raining and it wasn't supposed to rain oh no No. Oh no. Let's hope we get lucky. That would suck. Oh god. Alright, well let's, let's uh, continue on with what we were talking about. But yeah, I don't know if I'm keeping the bike or what I'm gonna do. Oh, it looks soaking wet up here. Nah. I don't know if I want to trade it in. Or if I want to keep it. So, I guess we'll kind of see as time goes on. Oh, uh, man. I don't know if this is a good idea. I kind of want to almost turn around and go get my car. Bro, what the fuck? I don't know, we're just gonna just... Commit for now. I'm going slow, I'm afraid. I don't like riding in the rain. Oh my god. Send help. Yeah, nah. Honestly, fuck this. I'm about to go get my car. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Nah. Fuck that. I'm going to get my car. Cause I have to drive directly into this rain cloud, bro. And I'm just not. I'm not feeling it. It's gonna prolong my trip. I'm gonna get soaked. God damn, alright, well, either way, we're recording this video, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> damn, I'm really annoyed though, I wanted to ride. I even looked it up and everything was like, you're good, you don't gotta worry about it, there's no rain. I should have looked at the radar. But, either way, we got like, I mean, we got the the trip, the freeway trip video, record it. Cause like, yeah, I gotta go directly all up into that. And I'm not doing that. I came from where it was nice and sunny. And uh, I got sunglasses on. I can't even fucking see right now. I'm more annoyed that I have to drive all the way home and then drive like 20 minutes back to where I'm at. But yeah, nah, I, I'm not driving through that. be a little safe getting on I don't want to slide here yeah I 
like, nah. It's just not an optimal experience, man. Damn it. Well. Overall, I mean, it drives good. It handles well. I've never had a heat problem on the freeway so far. I hope I never do have a heat problem. Um, I mean, it handles the wet decently well. I've ran it. I've rode in the rain like once or twice. Um, it's not my ideal experience. I normally try to just wait it out. I literally can't fucking see. My visor is soaked. And these sunglasses are killing the mood. But. Oh well. I'm more annoyed because I got this GPS in my ear and it's gonna just keep yelling at me. <laughs> uh shit, okay, let's wipe off. I'm riding in like the sketchiest spot of the road. like two different two different vibes very unfortunate I, I keep repeating myself and saying very unfortunate we all understand it's an unfortunate situation but hey make the best of it we got a nice little video in and uh i don't know i guess we'll carry it out until we get home and we'll just maybe make it a full continuous loop I don't really know if there's enough content talking wise in this video to make it a full continuous like 20-30 minute ride at this point but uh, we can try I'm just sad I got all spiffed up to go that far and then it's just not gonna happen honestly good. Another day, another ride. system and you're like I got to go you kind of just accept the wind and it's not as bad as you think it is you know you're just like all right I'm cruising the only time in my opinion that I get a little nervous still and I think it's just my rideability and not necessarily the bike's problem is going like ridiculously fast in these corners yet I'll go 70 in corners that I shouldn't be I think it's more so that the additional wind on these main roads compared to the, like, the cider roads uh, is quite different. So we're gonna rail it, dude. We're gonna keep it going in this corner. I'm not, I'm not letting it off this time. I did a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, but we we kept it. We kept it 79.80, baby. We can't go mass fast on this car.
unguarded area, like my whole gooch will just be swamped. But yeah, man, we've almost made it back to the free cruising I mean it's a little warm but I don't know how to like judge it it doesn't feel to the point where like it's overheating right um, I wish I could tell if the fan was on but there's not really a way to do that uh, now if we can get some sort of temperature gauge installed potentially I'd be down to try that uh, I just don't know necessarily how we would go about doing that and where we would tap into or if there's any sort of electronic capabilities with the bike that we can do that like just hook up into already so yeah I mean we made it to the the off-ramp here uh, I'd say a pretty successful trip successful video minus the rain we could have had quite a few videos recorded but we'll take it and uh i mean it feels good it feels good all around i think it's good i think like i said the hardest part is the um the wind I'm getting used to the bare bones and the wind each of uh, the gears there that's pretty fun but yeah I don't know I enjoy it I like the bike quite a bit and hopefully we continue to enjoy it like I said I don't really know if we're going to trade it in or what we're gonna do if we're gonna upgrade it further and just get like a stupid bike for stunting or what but part of me on my bike journey kind of wants it as by like a four thousand dollar Harley and then get it, like the CBR I feel like that would be that would be chef's kiss so uh, on that note we're gonna end the video I'm just gonna keep rambling if I don't so thank you all for watching hopefully you all enjoyed if you did like share comment subscribe all that YouTube bullshit that I don't really say much anymore and uh i'll see you on the next one peace